Hi everybody, we're here at the TensorFlow Developer Summit at the TensorFlow Cafe, and I'm chatting with Andrew Gasparovich from TensorFlow Hub. And you, you announced TensorFlow Hub today. Can you tell us all about it? Yeah, so TensorFlow Hub is um, the new way to share what we're calling modules, okay. which is meant to be a reusable component. Okay. So it's a little bit less than a model. Okay. It's just the reusable portion. Okay. But it is the graph, the weights, and potentially any assets that come with it. Okay. So it's all packaged up into a component that okay. makes it easy to share in just one line of code. In one line of code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a requirement from the beginning, actually. No more than one line of code. Where do you go from here? Half a line of code? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Well, I guess the natural <laughs> one is zero, but that's next year. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, one of the things you mentioned in your talk was about these modules being composable, reusable, and retrainable. Could you, could yes. you step us through that? Composable for us. Yeah, so composable just means that um, you can do things like add your own classification. So if you're talking about an image mod module, um, it doesn't include the classification from okay. the model so that it's something that you can compose with what you're building. I see. Um, in the case of text classification, that may be something like uh, an embedding module. Okay. And then in other cases, we also want to have just general purpose modules um, that you can compose around almost like functions that you can call together um, and uh, make building blocks for uh, an entire model. I see. So, so if I have a model that, I don't know, for example, that's doing OCR in an image, yeah. and, but it can also tag things within that image, what right. you're saying is I could yeah. break out the OCR part and I could break out the tagging part and compose yeah. them into something new. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. And that's going to be something really interesting to see what develops in the community over time, just the ways of putting things together and sort of modules that people end up creating. Cool, yeah, so it's where we're providing building, oh, the community's providing building blocks distributed Absolutely. by a TFL. Absolutely, yeah, so we have, we have um, a number of modules to start with, and they're very general purpose things, doing uh, you know image classification, doing text classification, we have those embedding modules, but um, I think that over time, what the community can contribute is what really will be interesting. Sounds great. So we've mentioned that they're composable yes. and then reusable. Reusable just means that um, you can basically take something that already exists and apply it to your own particular problem. Makes perfect sense. Yep. And then I'm really interested in retrainable. I mean, we've, we speak a lot about the TensorFlow for Poets where yes. you can retrain the final layer to make it flowers instead of general yeah. images. Is it to do a similar thing, go deeper yes. than that? Or? Yeah, definitely. So there is you know, the classic sort of transfer learning case there, where you would take an image classification module just up to the feature vectors, okay. and then retrain your own classification on top to do things. But you, know, you can also go deeper than that. You can start retraining text embedding modules. Right. And the thing about TF Hub is that you can actually do uh, fine tuning and retraining inside the module itself. So if you have enough data, you can actually turn on retraining inside the module because it's just a, a graph with the weights. Right. So um, you know you can really get better results um, because it's not just something that's static. It's something yeah. that you can really include in your own model. Sounds good. Now in your talk, you showed this for like classifying rabbits. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you had that one picture of a rabbit, which I think is the best picture of any <laughs> in the entire day. So uh, we have to cut to that and show it. It's it's a beautiful picture. Oh yeah. But, yeah. Great. <laughs> so tell us what 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 did you do in that demo? In the demo, we basically just it's the same idea as the TensorFlow for poets. We um, start with a general purpose image classification model, just up to the feature vectors. And in the particular demo example, we were classifying rabbits, maybe including the Easter Bunny. And uh, you know, we added our own classification on top. Okay. And we fed in um, all of our own training examples. And the end result is that you get something that is special to your task, but includes all of the benefits of the general purpose model. Nice. So it's kind of fun. So, yeah. Uh, and how, was, how accurate was it at detecting rabbits? 
<laughs> it's very accurate. We'll have to see how it works with the Easter Bunny. But uh. you mean you didn't put the Easter Bunny in your test set <laughs> yeah. next year? <laughs> so, so if I'm a developer and I want to build like I maybe I'm an expert in rabbit detection and right. you know and I want to build like a, a custom model and I want to contribute this into TensorFlow Hub. Yeah. How would I go about doing that? Well, that's something that we're really excited to work on over the next few months. Right now, uh, a module is accessible via any URL. And so you can host a module and you can use it in that one line of code. Okay. But we want to create a platform where people can go and find modules for all sorts of different topics and have that one central place that you always know that you can get really high quality stuff in a variety of different areas. Okay. And is there like some kind of curation? Um, that's something, it remains to be um, you know, seen specifically what we're going to do, but um, we want to be able to open it up to a, as wide a group of people as possible. Sounds good. So where can I find this again? It's um, tensorflow.org slash hub. Tensorflow.org slash hub. I keep saying tensorflow.hub slash org. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we can we get should the register, domain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tensorflow.org slash hub. Yeah. So you know, go check it out. So thank you so much, Andrew. It's thank been, you. It's been really fun, and I love that slide. Oh, great. <laughs> So thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. If you've got any questions for me or if you have any questions for Andrew, please leave them in the comments below. And all of the links that we spoke about today we'll put in the text description. So thank you so much, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.